Welcome to SIS Stories. This is Miss Bacigalupo's English 10 class, storytelling under the theme, Enter, Return. This is Brendan's memoir. Listen to him as he shares the excitement he has as he sets off to embrace a new change. Three, two, one. School's over. No more school. As all the students and teachers shouted with excitement on the last day of school. Finally, after three years of middle school, I was moving to high school. To somewhere pulls apart. More classes, more assignments, more stricter grading. Conversely, everyone in my grade seemed pleased of the fact that we were going to be high schoolers in just two months. What was school going to be like? Are we going to get textbooks for every subject? Waves of uncertainty went through my mind. I had a big smile on my face, looking delighted. Deep down, I was perturbed. I knew it. It wasn't easy for me to get over the fact that I was moving to high school, that more responsibilities were going to be put on me. Summer vacation came by quick. Suddenly, I could count the days left till school. But before the day comes, I needed to go to class. Isn't summer supposed to be a time to take a break, go out and play? This must be the opposite of high school, doing work without getting any choices. I could already sense the feeling of high school. This made me even more anxious. In a blink of an eye, it was the night before the first day of school. As the blackness darkened and the night went on, night falls. The moon was bright and I was preparing my backpack, making sure nothing I needed was forgotten. Checking again and again, I still thought something was missing. So I went to bed early to get some more sleep for the first day of school. I laid in bed, unable to fall asleep. I was imagining all the things that could happen tomorrow. And there, there was when I realized that I was excited for school. I couldn't wait to be in a new environment, to meet new people, learning things distinctive from what I used to in middle school. And there, I slowly fell asleep, thinking about all the great things that could happen on the first day of school. First day of school. I was nervous, yet I was excited. I was excited that I could catch up with friends that I haven't seen over the summer. I was nervous by the fact that I needed to meet some new teachers and had to go to new classes. I got ready for school as fast as I could. Didn't want to be late on the first day of school. As soon as I got to school, I quickly walked to the spot in the auditorium where my friends and I sat last year. Quickly to avoid the awkwardness walking in front of everyone else on the first day of school. Everything felt strange. It was like the first time going to a new school, a new place, and knowing new people. After a week or so, the awkwardness started to wear off. Things were getting back to normal, most of it. High school was different than I imagined. It wasn't stricter. In fact, high school actually, in a sense, gave us more freedom. Within classes, we would get more choices in how we wanted for example, our unit projects to be like. Nevertheless, we needed to choose wisely, a method that would best show our learning to the teacher. In high school, independent study is one major concept. Concept. We need to learn how to be independent, how to learn on our own. Keeping track and trying to learn by yourself wasn't easy at first. But slowly, I started getting used to it, doing tasks independently, learning independently, and many other things. 
In conclusion, high school wasn't that scary overall, except for the fact that I'll be stuck here for four years of my life. All the teachers were very nice, all my classmates were very nice, and lastly, I can't wait to create more memorable, memorable memories here.